Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing of my rare collection for this month from Fragrant Jewels. I got the Evil Eye. And looks like this one comes with a sugar scrub and two bath bombs. So I will put all the ring reveals in this video. So let's take a look at the items. So we have a scrub. Dark blue, light blue, and white. It's cute. And here are the bath bombs. They do, okay, so sometimes when the bath bombs come, they look real blotchy like this. They kind of look old. I know I've said that before. Um, so we'll see how they perform, but they do have the newer packaging, which is like a soft plastic and it's not so difficult to uh, open them anymore. So I will go ahead and get the demos for these and be back to show you the rings. Okay, so we're going to start with taking the jewelry out of the scrub first. And it does have the fragrance notes on here. It says rose water, raspberry, and vanilla. Which a lot of the time you don't know the fragrance notes for the rare. So I like that they put it on there. And of course, I think I ripped it wrong. Oh wait, no I didn't. Let me take a whiff. Mm, I smell the rose water more than I care to. And they didn't put it in a ball. I think it's just in a bag down here. So let me just... Try to grab that. Ugh. I like when they put in the ball container because you could kind of work it up to the top so you don't have to put your hand real far in there. But, let me try to get as much scrub off as I can. I feel like that's messier. Not a fan. It kind of dyed my hand. So whatever this is, it feels like it's very thin. Probably should have washed my hands before I go digging this out, but too late. Oh, so it's a charm. So I got a code. You can see the jewelry online, but I try not to peek. So I did get an eye charm. I'm going to enter the code and clean up, and I'll be back to appraise it. Okay, so this appraised for $25, 25 reward points, did not win anything additional. And it's just an eyeball with some eyelashes and little clear diamond-like stones. That's plain on the back. And I took a peek at the rares online, and it looks like I'm supposed to get a necklace with three charms. So... Let's go ahead and do the bath bombs and then we will take a look at all of them together at the end. So here's the first bath bomb. This one felt soft, like it maybe didn't have enough time to dry. And it wasn't as active as the other bath bomb. And with this one, I feel like it smelled way too much like rose. <laughs> I couldn't smell the raspberry or the vanilla, just rose with this one. And with both of them, it turned the water beautiful shades of blue. So this one just floated on top of the water. Then you could see some of the blackish gray oozing out of it. But it lasted a long time, so I ended up breaking it free, per usual. And that one was really soft, very easy to crumble. And that's typically how they are, but like it felt weird. It had like a weird texture to it. And in this bath bomb, it contained the necklace and one of the other charms. It was very tangled, so it took me a minute to get that situated. But the chain is adjustable, and then it has some detailing on it as well. And this charm is pretty cool looking. So it's a crescent moon, and then it has an eyeball dangling from it, and then the center stone is blue. And here's the second bath bomb. 
This one was much more solid. And surprisingly, it smelled sweet to me. So I guess that was the raspberries I was smelling. It did not smell like rose. I don't know if they were supposed to smell the exact same or maybe just like the fragrance and how it was mixed got thrown off. But this one smelled better to me. And as you can see, much more active. And the necklace and all the charms did appraise for $25 and 25 reward points. Didn't want anything additional with those. But I am getting the Raven um, Rare set this month. So I should have that posted shortly after I receive it. And I didn't look at the jewelry for that one. So that one might be a surprise. But here's the last little bit. You could see the ring container. So again, tried to break it. It did not crumble very easily at all. I kind of squeezed it a little bit and I was like, yeah, I'll put it back in the tub and let it go for a minute. And then I tried to break it again and still really solid, struggled with it for a bit. But then eventually I was able to break it free. I love the water. So pretty. And my third and final charm is another eyeball, but this one is blue. It has a blue stone in the middle. And here's all of them together. Very unique. I definitely like the one on the chain the best. But let me know which one's your favorite. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.